Hello friends, welcome to this operating system class and in this class we will see the dining philosopher problem. Under this class we are going to discuss the definition of dining philosopher problem and solution to this problem and drawback of this particular problem and solution to this drawback. Okay, all these things we will see uh, in this class. Dining philosopher problem. Consider 5 philosophers who spend their lives thinking and eating. For that, they will share a, a circular table and 5 chairs surrounding this table each belongs to the philosopher. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 chairs are there. Okay? And in the center of table, a bowl of rice is placed and 5 chopsticks were there on the table. Okay? Chopsticks 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 stop chopsticks are there. Okay. When a philosopher thinks, he does not interact with his colleagues. And time to time, the philosopher gets angry and tries to pick two chopsticks that are closer to him. Suppose if we want to eat the rice, then this particular philosopher have to pick these two chopsticks. Only the chopsticks closer to him, he will uh, pick up those chopsticks and started eating. Here a philosopher may pick only one chopstick at a time. Okay, but the chopstick is placed between uh, the philosopher and his neighbor. Okay, suppose if the plastic, uh, chopstick is holded by this particular philosopher, then he cannot uh, hand this particular chopstick, so he have to wait. Okay, and when the philosopher is hungry and he has hit both chopsticks, then he started eating until he finished. Once he finished, then he puts down both the chopsticks and thinking again. Right? This is a classic synchronization problem. Uh, consider all the philosophers are processes and chopsticks are resources ok chopsticks are resources to allocate chopsticks to all the processes we required 10 chopsticks isn't it because a philosopher required 2 chopsticks to eat but here we are having only 5 chopsticks then how do we allocate these chopsticks to the philosopher ok for example suppose if we allocate 2 chopsticks for this philosopher 1 then the next one can eat is either 3 or 4. Any one of these three third philosopher or fourth philosopher are allowed to eat. Okay, because simultaneously we cannot allocate the chopsticks to all the philosopher. This is a very simple representation. Here we need to allocate several resources among several processes and without deadlock and without starvation manner. Okay. So, the dining philosopher is a very good example for allocating resources without deadlock, without starvation. By using semaphore, we can give solution to this dining philosopher problem. Uh, consider each chopstick is uh, a semaphore, an individual semaphore. Okay. Hence, the philosopher tries to grab a chopstick by executing weight operation. So, in the semaphore, there are two operations, isn't it? First one is weight operation and second one is signal operation. Okay. So, the philosopher tries to uh, take one chopstick, then immediately he will execute weight operation for that semaphore, for that particular chopstick, isn't it? And if he release this particular chopsticks after eating, then immediately he will execute the signal operation for this particular semaphore that is for this chopsticks. See for every chopstick a philosopher have to execute weight and signal operations. Okay? While taking the chopsticks the philosopher will execute weight operation for this chopstick and for releasing he will execute signal operation for this chopsticks. Okay? This will be continued for all the chopsticks. Hence we are having semaphore chopstick array of 5 because we are having 5 chopsticks and all the chopstick elements are initialized to 1 because the chopsticks either 
uh, holded or released, isn't it? So, each stock chopstick is having only two values either 0 or 1. Okay. Here we are having 5 chopsticks that is array of 5 chopsticks. Each chopsticks will hold either 0 or 1. So, here sum of 4 chopsticks of 5 that is sum of 4 and 5 different chopsticks are there. So, array of 5 elements there and the control enters into the do loop here 2 weight operations are there. The first weight is for first chopsticks and second weight is for the next chopsticks. Okay. See for example, the second philosopher tries to take the chopsticks means he has to hold this one and this one okay first chopsticks and second chopsticks right okay and after taking these two chopsticks then he will eat for a while okay after completing his eating only he will keep the chopsticks on the table otherwise he continuously holds the chopstick okay see once he finished eating then the signal operation will be performed for both the chopsticks both the chopsticks then he will uh, put down the chopsticks on the table then he starts his thinking right and next let us see the drawback of dining philosopher problem uh, the solution for this problem is no two neighbors are eating simultaneously okay otherwise this could create a deadlock problem that is if philosopher 1 started eating then the philosopher 2 and 5 cannot eating because the philosopher 1 hold these two chopsticks isn't it and the philosopher 3 or philosopher 4 can eat uh, at a time that is either philosopher 1 and 1 and 3 can eat or philosopher 1 and 4 can eat at the same time only two possibilities are there okay suppose all the five philosophers become hungry then what to do then they will take the left chopsticks okay everybody take the left chopsticks then what happened all the element of chopsticks now equal to zero okay hence the other cannot hold the another chopsticks so each philosopher tries to grab the right chopsticks right side chopsticks he will be delayed forever so they never get the another chopsticks hence deadlock occurred the solutions to the above drawback there are several solutions first uh, we have to allow maximum four philosophers on the dining table hence we can provide more number of resources to the philosopher okay that means simultaneously two philosopher can eat isn't it so maximum we can allow four philosophers on the dining table and second one allow the philosopher to pick the chopsticks only if both chopsticks are free okay if both are free then only the philosopher are allowed to pick the chopsticks okay for that we have to pick the chopsticks in the critical section we have to put the picking of chopsticks in the critical section then this is possible and the third one is use asymmetric solution that means odd, odd number of philosopher can pick his left side chopsticks and then right chopsticks okay and all even number of philosopher pick his right chopsticks first and then left side chopsticks okay in this way we can somehow solve this solution up to this we have seen the dining philosopher problem and in this class uh, we have seen the definition solution to this problem after that what are the drawback we are going to face that is deadlock problem after that what are the solutions to this drawback everything we have seen in this class okay now this is the question time uh, what are the solutions to overcome the drawback of this dining philosopher problem students please write your answer in the comment box and next class we will see another important topic from operating system thank you